Good morning, one and all. Welcome to my uh, today's class. Today we shall start with lesson number six of PUC first year. Lesson number six is Babar Ali, written by Samarpita Mukherjee Sharma. Lesson number six, Babar Ali, written by Samarpita Mukherjee Sharma. Samarpita Mukherjee Sharma is the editor of the Youth Leader of India. She is a member of an online magazine, online magazine network focusing on groundbreaking positive initiative portraits, tools and more. Here she brings us the story of Babar Ali, who is the world's youngest headmaster <clears throat> and who made <coughs> remarkable changes in India. Babar Ali is the world's youngest headmaster and who made remarkable changes in India. If you see to the pre-reading activity in your textbook, it throws a light on the knowledge we have of the personalities who have brought about transformation in the lives of fellow beings. So coming to the lesson on page number 45. Babar Ali is the youngest headmaster in the world. He is only 16 years old. He is in charge of teaching hundreds of students in his family backyard. His family backyard, there is a house in his backyard. He teaches for around about hundreds of students. He runs classes for the poor children of the village. Babar Ali is a young man who comes from a village named Murshidabad, which is in West Bengal. He himself is not very rich. Even he learns amidst the poverty. Even he is learning in between this poverty of his, even he is learning, but he is trying to educate the other children also. He tries to be, to bring a change in the society. One of the volunteers of the youth leader, Tanvir, introduces him as a change maker. So, Babar Ali, <coughs> Babar Ali is said to be a change maker by one of the volunteers of the youth leader. Coming to page number 46 of the textbook, Babar Ali wakes up at 7 in the morning. He starts his day by doing some daily routine work. He then takes an auto rickshaw and later walks 5 kilometers to Kasim Bazaar, Rajgovind, Sundari Vidya Peet. So this is the college where he studies. He is a student of 12th standard. He studied in that, he studies in that particular school or college. He, he is in the 12th standard. Babar Ali is a thin and uh, gangly boy who sits in the middle of the front row. He is a thin boy who sits in the middle of the front row. He is a studious, smart and a simple boy in his blue and white uniform, in his blue and white uniform. He is a model student. Babar Ali is a model student. He is also the first member of his family to get proper education. In school, of course, he is an ideal student. The interesting thing here is what he does after his school. In school, of course, he is an ideal student, but what he does after the school? His life after school is for educating the other children, especially the poor ones. He educates the poor ones. Here it is said that most of the teenagers Teenagers, say around about 16, 17, 18 years children, they run off to the playground, become busy with the football or the cricket and other sports. But the life of 
Babar Ali was not so. It was different. He became the headmaster of a school of 800 students. So, let us see to the school of Babar Ali. The school of Babar Ali is an old broken concrete structure covered with a torn posters. There is an empty dark room where Babar Ali usually sits. And this is known to everyone. Even the famous personality like the Queen of England knows Babar Ali by his name because he is such a great person who educates so many children at such a small age. So the author says, even you should know who Babar Ali is. So it's important for all of us each and every one of us to know who Babar Ali is. Further to explain about the school, behind his office, behind Babar Ali's office, there is a gate that opens to Babar Ali's home. Here there are rows of poor and unprivileged children who sit under the open blue sky and learn all the things that other children learn by paying hundreds of dollars. Education is very costly where children are paying hundreds of dollars and learning here in Babar Ali school the poor and unprivileged learn free of cost. Whereas here in Babar Ali school children learn for free. There are 800 kids who walk miles to learn free of cost. So they walk miles together and they come to his school to learn because education is free here. These kids are deprived of their basic right for education. These children come to learn the basic and the fundamentals of life free of cost. The author says, take a minute and think. While we people today complain and cry about our allowances and make a fuss about staying out late, this average boy from a small village helps the others and makes this world a better place. Today, many children are unable to study because of poverty. The poor families cannot bear the expenses of education. This one school boy is a trying to change this particular situation. A particular condition, educational condition he is trying to change. And because of this struggle of his, he is the world's youngest headmaster at the age of 16. Coming to page number 47, Babar is considered to be one of the fortunate souls of his village because he has got the opportunity to study. In the Bapta neighborhood of Gangapur village in West Bengal, West Bengal's Murshidabad, West Bengal's that state's Murshidabad, the place name is Murshidabad. Babar lives with his three siblings and his parents in a thatched house. The condition is such. The house is very small. It is compared to the city's kitchen. He still lives there. He got his formal education in that village itself. His life was said to be better than the other children. Why? Because his father, Nasiruddin Sheikh, who was a jute seller, believed that education is man's true religion. He initially supported his son's venture with his own income. That is why Babar Ali is said to be lucky child because his father knew the value of education and he wanted to help his child and the other children. Though Babar Ali came from a poor family, he realized he must do something for the other children in his village. There was one more problem 
which the parents and the children were facing though education was free there was one more problem that was to travel to the school books uniform was all free no they had to pay for the books on uniform education was free in babar ali school education was free but the other problem which the parents faced was to pay for the uniform and to pay for the books the parents couldn't pay even for this they were so poor do uh, education was free in a babar ali school a lot of families could not afford to pay for the books for the uniform they could not make vehicle arrangement for their children to send to babar ali school so children instead of going to school would work as mechanics day laborers grass cutters livestock renders so uh, they the children from very poor families who couldn't afford even to send the the child to school because they couldn't make arrangement for the vehicle they couldn't pay for the books they couldn't pay for the uniform so such children would send their children uh, such parents would send their children uh, to work as grass cutters a day laborers a livestock herders they would take the cattle sheep and they used to go grazing the girls worked as maid servants in villages as cooks they used to wash clothes they used to wash utensils for their employers where they worked where they would work they would do all sort of things in their house babar ali wanted to change this particular situation this is why he took the initiative of opening his own school he was working as a headmaster somewhere for some other school but now when he realized these uh, problems of his own school he thought that he should start his own school so you can see the subheading in the textbook anand shiksha niketan anand shiksha niketan at the age of 9 babar ali started his own school anand shiksha mission or anand shiksha niketan actually it started as a game babar ali school started as a game babar ali used to play the game of a school school or a teacher teacher game as we see the small children playing teacher game or a school game he used to play this game with his friends he used to teach arithmetic to other friends he was a teacher and the other friends of his were the students this is how babar ali initially started teaching in 2002 this game itself got institutionalized with the strength of eight so there were eight students coming to page number 48 slowly the strength increased babar ali started getting help from uh, babar's own teachers his teachers started helping him the monks at the local ramakrishna mission they started helping him there were ias officers who helped him there were local police officers who helped him and gave aid for his school when babar ali for the first time thought of midday meals midday meal scheme where they give food for the children the rice came from his father's field but now government is providing him this stock earlier for the first time when he thought of midday meals the rice came from his father's field but now government provides the stock at present the strength of the school is a 60 regular students and 220 students on roll total there are 800 children and there are 10 volunteer teachers are the teachers who teach voluntarily they make up this institution of babar ali the teachers teach from grade 1 to grade 8 babar ali school has got its registration and the government of west bengal has recognized it it means that children who complete their primary education in babar ali school are eligible to be transferred to other local schools to local high schools they complete their basic education here and they move on to the other local high schools 
children of the village and other localites run to school to attend the afternoon school after completing their daily routine works before the bell put by who puts the bell tulumashi that is the lady who rings the bell there they all are present in school so they complete they are they finish off with their daily work and they run to school babareli school starts in the afternoon so they complete their work and they run to school before the bell is put coming to page number 48 we see the words meet some pure good kind souls here i mention the people who help in upbringing of the schools so, so these are kind souls these are good pure souls who are helping babar ali in the upcoming of his school tulurani hazra is an illiterate woman who sells fish in the nearby villages performing her work of fish selling she finishes her work of fish selling she convinces the parents this is the lady who convinces the parents who have stopped sending their children to school by her talks the parents get convinced and they become ready to send their children to babar ali school this is how she gets new admissions to the school she has recruited around about 80 students till now coming to page number 49 the teachers are nine in number and they are all average teenagers they are also studying and they are teaching the other children the most educated one among them is jaberita who goes to college in baharampur so she is the one who is educated among the teachers uh, she and babar ali are the two who takes maximum classes the other teachers are also there who are also teenagers and they are helping him in the teaching work babar ali delivers his lesson just the way he has heard from his teachers yes we all follow our teachers today there are so many things we are inspired by our teachers so he used to teach in the same way in the way his teachers would teach him there is no building or establishment for his school he teaches his students under the open sky so his school did not have infrastructure no building none and no proper roof for it he used to teach the children in the open ground that was his backyard some children sit in the mud others on rickety benches almost broken not very strong almost broken benches and some uh, sit under the shade of a tree so this is how the children are seated in this open school the family chickens scratch around nearby we can see children studying in every corner of the yard it is not important how nice the school building is what is important is how hard working the child is how nice the teachers are able to teach the children that is more important infrastructure of the school doesn't matter class 1 and 2 has more than 200 children class 8 has only 20 students they all learn 10 subjects that are mostly taught by babar ali and jaberita textbooks are free from 1st to 5th standard but the for the other classes money has to be paid so now what they have done is 1st to 5th standard textbooks are given free but for the other higher standards for the 6th 7th and 8th the they are the they have to pay for the books on each day there are around 400 children who are physically present in babar's front yard babar ali says he does not use rod for his children which we usually see in today's school the teacher always comes with a stick but babar ali did not use this stick or this rod he rather is a friend to them the author explains saying it is difficult to get a person like babar ali and that is why he says babar ali story continues even after he finishes his story telling about babar ali the author is telling the story about babar ali the author says even if he finishes babar ali story it doesn't end there it continues because he is such a good person babar ali has a help to enlighten 
hundreds of children. He has inspired millions of youth. He was a mere child when he decided to do something. He was a very he was a small child when he decided to do something to change this education system to change the situation of education the condition of education which he felt was unfair the poor were never able to study so he said he has to do something for this coming to page number 50 his story bears a message for all of us yes babar ali story it surely bears a message for all of us where there is a will there is a way he wanted to change the situation education situation the condition of the poor people he wanted to give education to them though he was poor though he was still studying though he was very small very young he still wanted to change that situation of education that thought he had in his mind so he had a will he found his way so where there is a will there is a way if a person wills to do something then surely he will find a way for it a 9 year old child could change the world this is an inspiration for all of us yes surely it's an in- inspiration for all of us and especially for the children young children today it is babar ali tomorrow it can be one among you it may be you it may be me or it may be somebody else so we have to get inspired by such people we come across people like babar ali who comes from a small village in murshidabad makes a, such a wide difference in the field of education so we salute babar ali for his uh, dreams his uh, struggle for making it come true so this is all about babar ali and uh, how he made up his mind to bring about a change in the situation of education this is how he gave education to the poor and by his hard work at a very small age he became a headmaster hope you all have understood the lesson if you have liked my video share and subscribe like share and subscribe thank you